Welcome to the RxJS video series. My name is Austin Culp. I'm a senior enterprise software engineer at Brebug. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most foundational RxJS creation functions, from. The from creation function allows us to convert compatible objects to reactive streams. This means that we can take collections, iterables, and even promises and use from to convert them and return an observable. From is pretty simple in concept. We just need a compatible object to convert to our new observable stream and optionally a scheduler-like parameter to add an execution context if you're looking for more customization around when it executes. Let's talk about some of the compelling reasons for utilizing this function in your code. From is the easiest way to create an observable stream from an existing data collection. There are other creational functions that the RxJS library provides us to build observable streams, but from is the only one given an iterable or a promise will immediately flatten and emit a raw stream of values unless you provide instruction to change the way that stream behaves. For example, there are creation functions to create reactive streams from Ajax requests, from Ajax, events, from event or from event pattern, value generators and value intervals with generator and interval, respectively, and even one to return an empty result set using the empty function. We can also use the observable class constructor in order to create an observable, defining the next and optionally complete and error callbacks. But who wants to write all that redundant boilerplate if we're just after normalizing data and turning it into a reactive stream on the fly? Here, we're creating an observable with a basic array using the class constructor. By using the static from function, we can reduce the complexity in our code and accomplish the same thing. Sometimes I want to be able to programmatically iterate through the DOM in my web component, especially when I'm writing JSX. Since the HTML collection interface is iterable, this is another candidate to be readily converted to an observable stream. Promises are still one of the most powerful built-in asynchronous tools that the ECMAScript spec gives us. However, there are scenarios where I want to return my promise result into a reactive stream and harness the power of RxJS. Fortunately, the from function is just the tool we're looking for to quickly and efficiently convert promises to observables. Next, let's talk about a couple of things to look out for when using the from function. Don't confuse from with of. Both create a new observable stream given an existing data set, but only from will handle flattening and emitting each value in result with next. Whereas of will emit the entire result the next time next is called. Understand that if you need fine-grained control over error handling or need to explicitly terminate the observable's execution, you'll need to implement the observer's error and complete callbacks. In this case, you'll need to opt for the longhand approach of creating the observable with its constructor. Thanks so much for making it to the end, and hopefully you'll be able to use the from creation function as a nice handy shortcut when all you need is a basic reactive data stream from an existing object. Make sure you check out some of our other lessons in RxJS. I can't wait to see you in our next video. Thank you.